Hello and welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and in today's video we will be talking about the best shell rack for, for each nation. But first things first, uh, I would like to apologize to, to all of you about uh, not releasing the videos, uh, not, to, not to doing anything. Well, my workload as I did mention before is uh, is changing I'm trying to to get more time to to record the videos and in order to do that uh, in the future I do need to put some more work right now uh, so that's why I was pretty busy the last week and I will be pretty busy this week so just just a heads up uh, I might release another video uh, this week because I do have some uh, some footage for for it but editing it and um, doing all the other stuff uh, is pretty hard well it is w w not hard but time consuming and the time is the one thing I don't have anymore <laughs> but okay uh, let's uh, let's get to the to the point which ammunition which shell rack is the best for uh, for each nation and well you might find that uh, in some cases uh, your ammunition that you are currently using will be would be better or is better uh, I am just saying it from my own perspective from my own point of view so don't get me wrong here I am just sa telling you which ammunition in my opinion is the best for said country but let's start and uh, let's start with the with the American with the American fighters let's see about their weapon loadouts and just a quick reminder the first shell rack you see is for your machine guns second shell rack is for your cannons ammunition just a quick reminder uh, I am considering the amount of uh, of each component in the in the shell rack uh, separately so as you can see here and I will go very quickly about it I, in the only purpose ammunition for the uh, for the American fighters for the American machine guns you have the armor piercing incendiary tracer bullet and the single incendiary bullet and what that what does it mean in the actual belt well if you consider that the uh, bullet that do have the armor piercing incendiary do have 50% of the armor piercing component and the 50% of the incendiary component the math for the omnipurpose belt will be looking something like 150% for armor penetration bullets and 250% for uh, incendiary bullets so with the omnipurpose one you will do more fire damage but less uh, armor penetration damage but there's this little catch uh, that I did find out in the in, during my gameplays. Uh, if you want to set something on fire, like the fuel tank of the of the enemy plane, uh, you first need to damage it. And I am going by this uh, by this calculation uh, through the entire nations uh, and all the nations that are in the game. I am going by the assumption that you first need to penetrate the fuel tank or to penetrate the uh, the first uh, the first layer of the uh, well of the armor of the, on the plane I know it sounds silly but armor on the plane well okay you first need to penetrate the first layer of armor to get into the uh, vital components of the aircraft so Whenever you are choosing the ammunition, you have to remember about those uh, those those things. Uh, can I penetrate the the target? And if I do penetrate it, uh, what can I do about it? So right here, as you can see, with the uh, omnipurpose ammunition, you have 150% AP and 250% incendiary. Now let's look about the ground targets ammunition. Here it's the a bit of the reversal. You have 350% uh, of armor penetration components and 150 incendiary. Now with the stealth attacks, well I am 
skipping the tracer bullets ammunition because well it is useless uh, you have uh, like what one two three four five uh, tracer bullets I don't know why you want that many in your belt and then after that you get this one shot with the armor piercing incendiary inside of it well okay but I am skipping that one for for now uh, for now and for forever uh, and then you have your ammunition for the stealth attacks which is uh, I would say more balance in the terms of uh, in the terms of uh, armor piercing incendiary components in it because it do have 200 armor piercing and 300 incendiary but then yet again it don't have the tracer components in the whole belt so you won't be able to see whenever you are uh, your bullets are flying and it do take some time it do take some practice to know how the bullets will behave in the air shooting from the different aircrafts what I would recommend <coughs> sorry uh, what I would recommend for for the beginning you just go and fly with the normal uh, normal bullets with the tracers and I would recommend you for the American uh, for the American fighters going with the ammunition for the ground targets because you have a very good chance of penetrating the enemy armor and then you have a fair chance of setting it on fire also remember about one thing that the American fighters especially with the well second one being British uh, do have loads of the machine guns right here you have you see four 12.7 so each uh, each bullet that will be flying you have a very very good chance of penetrating the enemy armor and a very very good chance of setting your fire with that many machine guns so my recommendation if you are starting your your journey into the into the aircraft try to get uh, as quickly as you can to the ground target ammunition then for the uh, for the cannons well we don't have that much of the choice we have our default ammunition which is the high explosive fragmentation the only purpose the high explosive fragmentation with the tracer components in it and the uh, ammunition for ground targets which is the armor piercing and then high explosive fragmentation blah 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 uh, I am recommending you the omni purpose because you have double the well you have two shells uh, with the high explosive fragmentation and then just one armor penetration uh, armor penetrating in, uh, tracer bullet in it why I'm doing that because if you are flying the ammunition for the ground targets you have more than enough uh, armor penetrating armor, armor penetration with you for the uh, for the can uh, for the machine guns that you don't need to put anything more uh, that you actually need something to 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 destroy the enemy enemy aircraft uh, on this tier so high explosive fragmentation incendiary with the tracer component and yeah the omnipurpose ammunition is uh, is a very good very good choice and a very valid choice well for the ground targets you might consider it because well it only have uh, well it is one a uh, high explosive fragmentation shell less in the belt in the in the rotation you might want to consider that but well paying 50 uh, 34 uh, 50 35000 lions for it sorry uh for it is uh, especially when you have exactly the same thing for 18000 is just pointless for me so uh, now that we finish up with the Americans so again uh, ammunition for the ground targets and the only purpose ammunition for the cannons we can move to the Germans and with this with the Germans uh, right here you can see I'm right now using the uh, two only purpose but again let's look on the 
on the components that are in the in the in the shell racks in the in the belts itself. We will start with the uh, omnipurpose. Well, it do have 200% of armor penetration and 150% of incendiary components in that in that lineup. I will skip that belt because well, it do cost 22,000 uh, lions and you only get the armor piercing and tracer bullets in it. Well, okay, but why? Why there are nothing more in it? One incendiary uh, round in it, or the immediate action incendiary, or any incendiary, uh, I mean, uh, bullet in it, would make it a very, very good belt. But then, yet again, they didn't get it. And then we have our stealth attack ammunition, which is 300 armor penetration and 200 incendiary. Uh, components. Well, I would say those two ammunitions, so the omnipurpose and the ammunition for the stealth attacks, are very, very similar to each other. Uh, but well, then yet again, you will have to learn how to fly like I am learning right now with my BF 109G2. I am learning to how this aircraft performs and how the cannons and the machine guns are performing in the air so I can be using the ammunition for stealth attacks later on so just uh, just for for you to know uh, right now what I am recommending is going with the omnipurpose because well you do have this tracer component so you will be able to see whatever you are shooting at and complaining that how can my shot ca did missed that guy uh, for the uh, for the for the cannons and for the cannons I would say uh, you do have two options because well your first uh, choice is the well the omnipurpose then you have the air targets then you have the armored targets and then of course you have your uh, stealth attack ammunition which is better well right here I am I am deciding because well the ammunition for the air targets uh, do have very high uh, very high amount of the incendiary components in it and very low armor piercing in it uh, so what I would recommend is whenever you are flying uh, Flying with the squad, flying with any any teammate, any wingman with you, I would go for this ammunition because the amount of the incendiary components with it uh, is just insane. Considering that, well, right here we do only have 150% with the omnipurpose ammunition, 150% uh, incendiary components with the 200 armor piercing in it. So. Ammunition for the air targets go on with the with the, with your wingman, but the ammunition for going solo, if you if you don't have anyone to fly with, will be the ammunition for the armored targets because of the armor piercing com uh, high explosive components. And how this is working? Well, the armor piercing is penetrating the. Uh, the fuselage of the of the of the aircraft or penetrating the armoring around the uh, the engine and then it is exploding so you do have a very good chance of dealing the I would say internal damage to to the aircraft components with this ammunition so that's why I am do recommending it for you to fly whenever you are flying solo to go for the ammunition for the armored targets and some of the aircrafts that you will be facing, especially on the tier 9 and up, are the Russians, the LA-5s and the LA-7. And what you can see in here, in his uh, upgrades, is the rear armor plate replacement and rear uh, armor glass replacement, which makes them very, very well armored aircrafts. But let's get back to, to our German fighters. So using the ammunition for, uh, for armored targets, 
will allow you to do those this damage to all of those enemy uh, LA5s and all other aircrafts because well even though you don't see it in the upgrades like you we did see in the in the in the, in the second ago with the LA5 every aircraft except for the Japanese do have some sort of protection around the cockpit of the of the aircraft the BF109 well they were all over here they were armored there was the uh, this uh, well I would say massive uh, as massive as it can be uh, cage that was protecting the pilot but with the ammunition that I am talking right now so the ammunition for the armored targets you will be able to penetrate this this areas of the plane so that means you will be able to kill the pilot and all all other vital components to of the of the aircrafts so for Germany yeah go with the armored uh, ammunition for armored targets if you are flying solo if you are flying with the teammate uh, with the wingman go with the air targets ammunition because of the uh, because of the high oh, sorry it's one one down uh, because of it uh, all of the fire that you can cause and the fire is always uh, a bad thing to the enemy player and a good thing for you because he will be taking the periodical damage to well I would say all of his components that are touched by the fire uh, but at the end, you do have your stealth ammunition, which I didn't unlock on my BF-109 right now. Uh, and I would say that's the best ammunition for the for the Germans, for the for the German uh, German cannons. Uh, why you do have all the things that you need to be flying solo? So you have the armor-piercing components in it. So you have armor-piercing high explosive one. Well one only but then you have the second shell with the armor piercing incendiary with it and then just to just to be uh, be fun you do have the exact same high explosive incendiary as you do have in the uh, in the air targets uh, shell rack so yeah the stealth attack is definitely the best for well I would say that's the omnipurpose ammunition for the for the Germans uh, and well consider that whenever you do fly in the Germans and you have the enough experience on the aircraft to, to, uh, to buy it but then also remember if you are not feeling very comfortable whenever your uh, bullets will be flying mount the machine uh, mount the omnipurpose uh, ammunition belt for your for your machine gun so you will get the tracer tracer components into your into your shooting well let's speed up a bit now for the for the Russians and I will say for the Russians they are pretty pretty fun to fly and there is a pretty fun ammunition that they are using uh, which is I would say for the machine gun ammunition it's the one of the best I did see in the game but yet again the Russian tech tree do have its own development team out there at the Dungeon Entertainment and well what you can expect if they don't communicate with one another they do have some funny funny moments in it uh, the ammunition I am talking about is the armor piercing incendiary tracer uh, that's the dream ammunition for for I would say any pilot because you have everything that you need in one bullet so you have armor piercing component you have the incendiary component and you have the tracer component so you see where you fly uh, where you're shooting uh, you can penetrate the anything on the enemy plane and you can set it on fire whenever he will be leaking fuel what do you want more and that is my choice for the ammunition for the Russian uh, uh, for the Russian tech tree but before you get to it because well you do need a bit of, uh, of the experience to get it a very valid choice is also the uh, air target ammunition is the well it's exactly the same thing as the armor piercing incendiary tracer uh, 
but it's uh, it do have the the shots. So you have one shot with the armor piercing incendiary tracer, then another one with just the armor piercing incendiary, then another one with armor piercing incendiary, and then at the end the immediate action incendiary. So that that all makes the uh, the the shots uh, they are separate. So you do have to take that into the account. So that's why I the air target ammunition is the valid choice for the for the Russians, but the armor piercing incendiary tracer is is just the best <laughs> in in my opinion. You probably did see my uh, couple of last videos uh, after the 1.29 patch uh, when I was flying the uh, the Russian the little little Russians uh, mission and. Yeah, I was using the armor piercing incendiary tracer. Uh, this ammunition I was using on all of them, and believe me, I did test them all out. And this ammunition is just simply, simply amazing, amazingly good. Now, enough of the praising the the uh, the ammunition on the on the Russians. Let's let's move on to the to the cannons. And for the cannons, well, I there is one ammunition also that I do recommend, is the ammunition for the armored target. Why? Mm, well, very simple. You have loads of armor penetration in it and loads of uh, incendiary components in it. Also, you have the uh, ammunition that is called the fragmentation incendiary tracer shell. The fragmentation incendiary. Uh, what does it mean? It it do have a very uh, fair chance of damaging the engines uh, because the fragmentation ammunition as you can imagine whenever it hits it uh, burst into the small pieces well, the small uh, as small as the 20 millimeter shell uh, shot from the 20 millimeter cannon shell can uh, disperse into the small small pieces small fragments and if you do it in the well close proximity of the engine it's a very good. Uh, it do have a very good chance of damaging this engine, because all of those little uh, little parts. So for the for the Russians, go for the armored target ammunition. Also, the uh, stealth attack ammunition is the valid choice. But the armored targets, I would say, it's it's slightly slightly better. Now for the well, one of my well, I would say my favorite nations, uh, the British. Uh, let's look at the Spitfire Mark 16. It's the tier 11, so we do have the 12 millimeters. And yet again, for uh, for this uh, this ammunition for your machine guns, I would recommend going for the. Uh, ground target ammunition and why is that because you do have loads of armor piercing uh, components in it so you have what like two armor piercing then you have armor piercing incendiary times two and then you have the immediate action uh, incendiary so you are penetrating then you are setting on fire that's the order you should be doing it uh, also the ammunition for the stealth attacks uh, it is a very valid choice because of the well let's say the slight change in the in the order of the bullets and by placing the replacing the strict armor piercing bullets with the armor piercing incendiary bullets uh, so you have the 50 50 percent chance of penetrating and 50 percent chance of setting on fire but considering the well the Spitfire only have two machine guns but considering the normal amount of the machine guns on the uh, on the Spitfires and all the, the the Hurricanes it is a very very good choice but then again you won't be able to see where your ammunition is flying so just keep that in mind if you are just learning go with the uh, with the ground targets ammunition because you will have the tracer component in it and for the shell racks well stealth attack one and you might say well which one was that the omnipurpose one is the pretty much the same same thing it's the high explosive incendiary then the high explosive semi-armor piercing incendiary then 
armor piercing than tracer so what's the difference between uh, between that one well the difference is uh, is very very well I would say very simple but you do have two armor uh, high explosive fragmentation incendiary then you have the one high explosive semi armor piercing and then you have you're finishing off with the armor piercing so this one component at the front the high explosive incendiary makes it the very good ammunition comparing to 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 the omnipurpose uh, to the omnipurpose one and to the ground ground attack also because here you have just loads of armor piercing well the key to everything in here and uh, I will I should be saying that in the end but well, okay let's let's get over the Japanese very quickly and I will say it what I do have to say in the <laughs> at the end uh, let's see about the Japanese well the K61 RLC uh, Hain I didn't play it as much as I would like to play it but uh, believe me I do have this all of those ammunition unlock on the on the other aircrafts this is just this will be just the example uh, with the with the machine guns for the for the high in here uh, you do have two choices either the only purpose ammunition or the air targets ammunition well you do have more choices but my recommendations are one of those those two uh, between those, I would go with the Omnipurpose because it do have, well, the Japanese in all of their choices are all about burning stuff down. Uh, they do tend to have more incendiary components in their, uh, in their, uh, in their, in their shell racks or in the ammunition belt than any, any other types of bullets. So, burn, burn, burn. Or try to burn but the thing is if you do want to burn as I did say it probably five or six times in this video uh, if you want to burn something down you do need to penetrate its fuel tank so uh, the ammunition for the air targets uh, is a good choice because well you do only have 100% uh, of the uh, armor piercing components in this belt and you do have 200% of incendiary, uh, incendiary component in it uh, but the thing is the immediate action and that's also a question that I will I was uh, I was getting from from you when I was making the video on the shell rack explanation is what's the difference between the immediate action and the incendiary alone bullets and the difference is that the immediate action incendiary will work like let's say that the incendiary component uh, incendiary bullet will do have like 100% of uh, of setting something well not really 100% will be a bad example let's say the incendiary only bullet is having like 60% of uh, setting the the fuel or the mixture that is uh, uh, pouring away from the enemy plane 60% to set it on fire now the immediate action ammunition have like I would say 85 to 90 percent of setting it on fire so it's slightly better well slightly uh, it is better but not to the point that the incendiary ammunition would be uh, there won't be point in using it so for the for the Japanese let's get let's get back to them uh, I would go and I am going for with my other uh, other aircrafts with the omnipurpose ammunition because you do have 200% of armor piercing in it and a 300% of incendiary and by using that I am also using for uh, the ammunition for the stealth attacks on most of my uh, mo of most of my Japanese uh, but if you are don't have enough of the experience like I don't have right now on the on the high in here uh, you could go with the amount of the with if you are using the omnipurpose ammunition you can go either with the air targets because well yet again some armor piercing component in your arsenal would be great 
also the uh, the rest of the incendiary components in it would be good so the air targets ammunition or the uh, armor uh, for the armored targets ammunition because well you do need to penetrate to do damage and to set something on fire so with the Japanese you actually you do have three three options the air target armored target and the stealth attack uh, ammunition depending on which ammunition you are using in your in your machine guns so let's say you are using the omnipurpose one which do have 300 percent of the incendiary I would go with the uh, armored targets uh, cannon just to balance it out so you have the armor piercing more armor piercing with you so you have the better chance of making this fu enemy fuel tank uh, leak start leaking or the ammunition for the stealth attack but for the for the beginning because well you do need exactly the same amount of experience between those two uh, if you are using the omnipurpose ammunition from the for your machine guns I would go with the armored targets uh, with the with the cannons now so to wrap it all up because well it was a uh, pretty long video almost 30 minutes right now uh, I would say in the general the general idea the general general thing is whenever you're flying something look on your ammunition because well the ammunition will probably be changing in the in the next patches in the in the future they might add some 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 new ammunition so my advice to you all is look on whatever you are buying in some cases there the price of the stealth ammunition for machine guns is just overpriced comparing that you are losing the tracer uh, you are losing the tracer component in order to get the stealthiness well okay just put this one round out it should be cheaper actually to mount that kind of belt instead of the higher price so use your mind uh, calculate whatever you should be going for as balanced uh, as balanced ammunition types as you can if you can choose between the ammunition with the uh, for the machine guns and for the cannons try to balance it out see if you are flying uh, if you have enough armor piercing components compared to your incendiary components if you are flying with the squad if you are flying with the one teammate or if you are flying with the three of them remember about setting these all small things uh, small things up because if you are working as a team you should be using the team ammunition so if one of you is going for the well let's say the full armor piercing uh, setup one of you should be balancing it with the more of the uh, incendiary component ammunition remember the choices between ammunition well you do have plenty of them to choose from but remember you always try to balance them out and all of my proposal in here in this video for the ammunition their goal is to and those setups are well were made to balance it out so if I am using the more armor piercing in my machine gun I will be trying to using more incendiary with my cannons and vice versa so remember about that uh, just to finish up uh, finish up this video well guys uh, thank you for watching thank you for tuning in uh, I do hope you do enjoy these videos I do hope you will uh, you will like it you will uh, you will subscribe to my channel if you if you like the idea and thank you all for all the emails I will probably be doing some quick uh, quick video probably sometime next week uh, with a little uh, I would say question and answers uh, also for the next week uh, I am planning to do to do some uh, some flying with you I will will get uh, get information to you before before the weekend probably with my next video uh, the mission video it will probably be the mission video uh, 
I will try to get uh, get the information to you when I will be available to all of you, so we can uh, we can fly together. Uh, so guys, yeah, not to not to going for too long. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I do hope you like and subscribe to my channel. But that would be it for today. And Iron Rifle out.